All right, so we've got this assignment that came over this morning for a 2006 Ford Escape. Uh, the finance company gave us the backstory on this guy. Uh, he's pretty much nuts. Uh, he uh, put a substantial amount of money down at the dealership to make the deal hap happen and, uh, and financed the remaining amount with the uh, finance company that we do the repos for. And the very first month after he did the loan, he came into their office just freaking out and saying he dumped all of his money into the down payment and didn't have a cent to his name and needed to borrow more money from them. And they told him, you know, look, we can't give you more money. We already loaned you what you needed to get your car. We're not a, a bank. You know, we're, uh, we lend on vehicle loans and that's it. And uh, the guy basically uh, begged with them until he got them to give him an additional small amount of money to get him by for a month and then he would his mo after that was to make a monthly payment and then the following month ask for more money and the loan officer said look i can't keep doing this this isn't the kind of business we're in you don't understand how the, this process works we loan you the money one time and then you pay the loan back and then we're done you know and uh so the guy said well i've got an interesting story to tell you but i got to tell it to you in person so the loan officer was like, uh, okay. And so the guy came into his office and proceeded to tell him that his ex-girlfriend was in prison and she was rooming, bunking up with a mass murderer and that uh, this is the kind of person that they uh, didn't want to piss off. And the uh, loan adjuster was like, are you threatening me if I don't give you more money? And the guy just said, well, uh, let's just put it this way. It would be bad for all of us if uh, I'm not able to get money to her. So he's basically trying to extort money out of this uh, loan officer to, uh... <laughs> anyway, so the guy's pretty much not so. We haven't met with him in person before, but the uh, vehicle does have a tracking device on it, and uh, it hasn't been pinging all day long until about uh, 20 minutes ago. We got noticed that it's pinging right here in this apartment complex. There's a blue Ford Escape sitting right there. That's probably going to be our vehicle. So I don't know what this guy's going to be like if I have to deal with him in person. I guess we'll find out in about two seconds. This vehicle is going to be all-wheel drive. He doesn't know there's a tracking device on it, so this is going to be a surprise to him as well. Confirmation on our plate. This is your vehicle? Yeah. Got an order of repossession for it from your finance company. You got a good number to give them a call? Uh, They're still in the office. If you want to give them a call, maybe you can... I'd like to give them a call, yeah. Sure. I didn't... Um, 
You want me to give you the number? Are you in the middle of a call right now? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Hey, Grandpa. Uh, yeah, you need to talk to Jamie. Is he available? Um. Okay. Okay, bye. Tell me when you're ready. It's 8.01. I can't talk to anybody on the okay. phone, but you can talk okay. to them because we're not allowed to get involved with your financial matters. We're just the company that transports them, but I can get you on the phone with them and then maybe you guys can work something out or maybe you can get her on the phone with them. I don't know. And then just ask for He's the office manager. Uh, yeah, they're usually there till about 5.30, so um, it's 5.27 right now, so unless they left early for some reason. Hey, what's going on? Um, he's he was saying that he's got someone else, some female that he's like, well, can I get you on my phone? Okay, so I guess I'll just keep working then, and you can just deal with him tomorrow. Ah, uh, bye. Yeah, I laid them on the pad on the driver's seat. Okay. You got what you need out of there right now? Um, yeah, I think I got everything. Okay, and you got a good number to contact them. They, I think they open at, uh, nine, at nine, possibly ten. If they don't answer at nine, try them back at ten, okay. and uh, and then yeah, just tell them, hey, my vehicle was picked up. What I got to do to get it back, okay. and then I they'll. Think she paid it. It was just then just go into the office and get, give him confirmation of that and then they should be able to get you back your vehicle as quick as possible. All right. Alrighty? Yep. yep. <sighs> yeah, we were running a skip locate on this guy all day long because this, this is not the given address. This is a new address. It's a couple miles north of where he's supposed to be living. Went over there and confirmed he wasn't living there, so he ran a skip locate on him and he, brand new address is coming up for him way, way north. About three hours north, almost to the Idaho border. 
So I thought we were going to have to go on a real long trip. We had a spotter set up to check two addresses up there tonight. And then out of the blue, tracking device started pinging. Notified me on my phone and we pinged it and headed this way. There it was. Until he was totally surprised that we found him. Of course, he gave us the typical, oh, it's been paid, blah, blah, blah. You know, if it had been paid, we wouldn't be picking it up. I won't go into the details of how late he is, privacy reasons, but he's not just a month or two behind. This has been an ongoing issue since the life of this loan. So I think they're going to require him to come up with a full balance to redeem this vehicle. <laughs>